Hi, I'm Josh Ackman in the Park Industries Customer Service Department. And on this video, we're gonna be talking about software limit alarms. Um, for X, we'll discuss uh, Y, and we'll also show you a Z alarm. This video will pertain to Sabres, Sabre Jets, Voyagers. Um, that'll be what the alarm will get you on, but it kind of crossovers also to our Titan line and Fusion also here, but the alarm codes will be relevant to the Sabres and Voyagers here. So we're gonna go on the screen here and I already have a Z-axis alarm. So you can see I have an 8258 target position on the positive side and that SW stands for software and you can tell it's on the Z axis. So first thing we want to look for, uh, this can be, be because of multiple things, but first thing we want to look for is tool length. So we'll come here and we can see our tool length is at 15 inches, which is quite large. Um, this was mistyped, so what we can do is just retouch off our tool on our table, or in this case, we have a tool measure and we'll remeasure our tool, and that should get us along there. What it's what the actual alarm is saying is that there's it's trying to in this case it's positive, so it's on the top side of the Z. It cannot go high enough for that big of a tool. Um, it will hit the software limit switch, which it, that's the end of the travel. You can also get this alarm during tight cut programs if your table is too thin on the Voyager um, and you're trying to do a tight cut. That uh, if your table's too thin, it will not be able to go down far enough to get your desired tight cut. So those are the two main ones for uh, software limit on the uh, Z axis. We're gonna load one for the X axis here. We set our alarm, get a system on. We're gonna hit start and it scans through the program there and we can see right away we get an X axis alarm. So same thing, it's just a 8259 now, um, negative software limit on the x-axis and then we can see we're on block n22 so whether this is an x or a y limit what this is telling me right now it's trying to drive on the negative x side too far over it cannot reach its destination so we're actually more than likely we're past our table limit here but if uh Remember this number here, this N22. And what we're gonna do is go back to our G code and we're just gonna hit edit G code. And this is our G code file here, our G code program. And we're gonna go to N22 here and you can see our X is at negative one. Nick, you cannot program past the zero point of the table. So, what we'll have to do here is take this program back to our programming computer and we can put in these coordinates and find exactly which cut this is happening on. And you can see it's happening on a couple here. The, uh, we'll take it back to our program computer and what we more than likely did here was extend it to the full border and it extended the cut past the table. So we'll just have to trim those lines down. Same thing goes for Y if you get a Y axis alarm or you may see that it will be a positive limit on the X or the Y, which just means we're trying to go too far on our positive side. So that's uh, pretty much how to resolve there the um, software limit switches on Saber, Saber Jets, Voyagers, and this does kind of cross-reference if you get software limit switches over to Titans or Fusions or anything like that. It just won't be the same alarm number. Um, as always, if you have questions about it, give us a call and we'll be able to help you out. Otherwise, that's the end of this.